On the level of natural revelation, I can say that we worship the same God. On the level of special revelation, we worship very different gods. And I think that's probably a good way to think through it. And Christians have special revelation, the word of God and tradition and scripture. And Christian revelation does not need Muhammad and the angel to supersede or perfect it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 2, I paraphrase, that in the past God has spoken to men in many ways through his prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken through his son. He has spoken through his son. Jesus is what? The word of God. God speaks through his word. Jesus Christ, God himself, the second person, becomes incarnate and dwells among us. That is God's word in person. He is the final word. And the catechism says when he sent his son, that was the final word and God had nothing left to say. Oh, you think you're going to supersede this Muhammad? You think you're going to correct our scriptures? You're more important prophet than Jesus. No, thank you. This is our special revelation we know. And because Jesus came and died and rose again, that he is the son of God and he is the final word of God. There will be no prophets we don't need Joseph Smith to start the Mormons. We don't need Muhammad to start this and all the other isms that they say that they've come to fulfill and to supersede. We have the final word. Gerhard Mueller, who is the recent prefect for the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith, said Muslims and Christians do not believe in the same God, and he said that without contradicting magisterial teaching. He said, of course, and he's actually making the two points of special and natural revelation here. Of course, you can also, on a philosophical level, natural revelation, say, to get, say together, there is only one God. We all see in our understanding the God as the same God. But by understanding the Christian revelation, our special revelation, it is not the same God. In this respect, the Christian God is very different from Allah, the God of the Muslims. So, yes, Muslims have a small part of the truth, but they also have very much error. And we better figure out what to do about it. And I think we ought to realize, too, that they need to be evangelized. I think we need to do three things. First, understand them. Second, decide what to do and how to react to them. And third, start learning how to evangelize Muslims.